I made it my goal to get played a game with every single hero in Overwatch. Last video, we left off with Divas, Winstons, Anas, Life Weavers, Zarya's, Mercy's, Doomfists, Widowmakers, Lucio's, Alari's, Sombras, Kitako's, and Genji's player to games done. Which you can see on my last YouTube video, which you should probably watch first. But with this video, we're gonna start it easy with Reaper here. It feels like everyone says that Reaper is one of the easiest player to games to get in Overwatch. And they would be 100% right. I mean, he's just one of those heroes you just gotta jump into the enemy team and press Q and just pray for the best. The problem I have, and a lot of Reapers have nowadays, is that in this state of Overwatch at the moment, people have finally started going, oh, we can like cancel that. So nowadays you see more Reapers getting their ultimates cancelled than actually being able to get a single elimination with it. But even if the chances of your ultimate getting cancelled is say 90%, as long as you use your ultimate correctly, there's always that 10% chance of pretty much just to play the game. And we got this 10% chance about 3 games into my stream trying to get this play the game. Although I was really close to not getting this play, as I'd forgotten which button was my melee and almost fumbled the bag but luckily last second i just smashed my whole hand onto my keyboard and got this play all right surely 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 that's it <laughs> dude i'm so lucky i went for that melee i almost completely missed my melee button bro <laughs> all right ggs let's go baby Let's go, all right. And that's Reaper crossed off the list. And just to start to a lot of the player the games that are going to be done very quickly. But just in case you haven't seen the last video, I explained that every time I get one of these player the games, I post a video of it on my TikTok channel. And every time I do, I go live on Twitch and play free warm up games. And by the end of those free games, whichever hero has the most likes in the comment section of their TikTok will be the next hero I get the player the game with. So we're just gonna post that Reaper player the game TikTok and see who's next. Oh, it looks like it's gonna be Wrecking Ball Online. Now, real quick, after playing Wrecking Ball for a while now, I have a lot more respect for ball players. As before, I just saw you guys as annoying little pests. No, no offense. <laughs> but as soon as I started playing this hero, I realized very quickly how hard some of the tech can be. And I didn't expect to get the player to game within my first stream. So I just spent that whole time just learning some of his basic tech and how to move around this hero. And I wasn't expecting to get the player to game coming into my second stream as well. But I ended up having some of the best games I've ever had with Wrecking Ball. Ignore the fact I only had like 10 minutes on ball before this. But anyways, during one of these best games I've ever had, I managed to pull this playoff. No, I did not uh, I'm not to, not to, you know, brag or anything, but I did amazing. That game, yes! Day two, baby. Day two and we already got it. That's what I'm talking about. What did I do? Nice. Now we'll take that. <laughs> Wait, was it just a 2K with my ult? <laughs> it's just a 2k. <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take it. And even though Wrecking Ball's done in... Hold up. Only 25% of you guys are subscribed? Well, first of all, thank you to everyone who is already subscribed. And whoever isn't, tell me in the comment section what I can do to earn a subscription. But for now, the next play of the game we're going to be getting is... Zenyatta is here. Now again, if you've seen my first video on this challenge, you might remember that Zenyatta was supposed to be my first player of the game until I switched it to D.Va last second. And that was because he was a player of the game magnet for me, but for some reason when I was actually trying to get his player of the game, I just couldn't seem to get it going. Unfortunately though, with the comment section choosing which hero is next, I kind of have to get his player of the game now. But something else came up with the comment section rule. See, as I said before, after I post a TikTok, I normally do free warm-up games before I finally fully lock in the most liked comment. Unfortunately though, I already had another rule where if I get their heroes played a game before they're fully locked in, it won't count at all. So when I saw Zenyatta was winning on the third warm-up game, I decided why not just practice him a little bit before he's locked in. I mean, there's no way I get his played a game first game, right? Right?
Oh, shit. Yeah, we've already, like, gone through some of the most difficult heroes. What the fuck? What did I do? What? What the fuck did I do? Okay, it doesn't count. Um... What the fuck? Dude, I'm it, done. You know what pisses me off is that it doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, and for the first time, I accidentally got to play it again. And you know the whole thing I said before where when I'm actually trying to get the player to game, I just can't seem to get it going? Well, that's exactly what happened. As I spent almost four hours trying to get this player to game for Zenyatta. And when I did, I wasn't very proud of it. Imagine that's it, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's it! <laughs> no way, that's it. That's so fucking cringe. No, my play the game is me spawn camping him. Ooh! Ooh, I'm disgusted in myself. I'm disgusted in myself. That's disgusting. <laughs> oh my god. Now, even though I felt bad about that play the game, I didn't have enough time to get a third play, so we're just gonna have to cross Zenyatta off the list for now. And at the end of the day, I still posted that TikTok, and the comment section decided they wanted the next play of the game to be Hanzo. Now, if you've been in any of my streams at twitch.tv slash https underscore loony, you would know I have some certain opinions about Hanzo. Now, I'm not a full-blown Hanzo hater like a lot of people that I know. I think it's just his kit and his primary fire can be very easily abused by low elo players who haven't really earned the elimination, just kind of spamming a corner at head level. Here's the thing though. I'm a very low elo player myself, and as shameful as it is, I did exactly that the whole time trying to get this player to game. But, especially with my ultimate, I managed to get some pretty decent plays every now and then. What? But they were always overshadowed by another player. What the fuck? But one game we loaded into Iconworld, and for a whole game, this Pharah on the other team just kept on targeting just me after I cancelled her ultimate, which will be in the play of the game, don't worry. They even got to a point where they were asking my team in match chat if they would just let them kill me. And near the end of the game, we were calling them out on being a sweaty little in quick play, by the way. <laughs> in quick play. And they continued to say, what? Don't like mind games. Like a an anime villain. In quick play. <laughs> Anyways, I thought I'll give you guys some context as to why this play of the game was so satisfying because it had me cancelling the Pharah's ultimate in it. So, here you guys go. Just so want to kill me. What you don't mind games in quick play is crazy. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> mind games and quick play is the craziest and it's killing her. No way. <laughs> L. No way. Nah, I can't wait to post it on TikTok. I cannot f***ing wait to paste. Oh my god. Now, even though that wasn't my best play on Hanzo that day, it was still the play of the game. So we'll cross him off the list and move on to the next hero for now. Actually, what hero is next? Hold on, give me a sec. Oh, it's gotta be Torbjörn. This is my favorite little Swedish man. You can know I had only like two hours on him before this. But he's so adorable, look at him. Anyways, I didn't want to be too embarrassed about my play of the game when I posted it. So when I went for this play of the game, I made sure to not rely on my turret too heavily. One of the problems I had though that was getting between me and this play of the game was that I wasn't spreading Torb's, um, uh, you know, that around enough. So pretty much the whole time trying to get this player to game was just constantly telling myself just to spread his ultimate. But as soon as I got that down, I managed to pull this play off. And that's play the game, baby. Yo! I told you! I told you! That's what I'm talking about. Uh, was that like a... 
With Torbjorn done, that's already 18 heroes done and out of the way. And the next hero on the chopping block is Torbjorn's own daughter, Brigitte at your service. Now, at the time I was getting this play of the game, I was really stressed about getting the first play of the game YouTube video out. And since I was getting these play of the games so quickly, the work was stacking up constantly, and my PC was starting to run out of disk space because of the amount of Twitch VODs I had to download, and they all took up about 10 gigabytes each so this ended up being a race against myself to get this video out before i get too many player to games so when i first went for briggs player to game honestly i wasn't even trying and that was the plan for the second day as well but the next day i had just woken up for the second stream trying to get this player to game and on my first game on numbani I spent the whole game just sitting on the payload and handing out heals. That was until the end of the map, where the game was almost over and I kind of just swung Briggs' mace around a little bit. And I accidentally got this. Wow, alright. What the f- Um... Bro, I just woke up. Um... <laughs> um... Uh, hold on. Let me, let me just, let me just think for a second. Um, and that's the second play of the game that we've gotten on accident somehow. And that's half of the heroes done so far. Just like always, I posted the TikTok and the comment section decided they wanted the next hero to be... Echo Online. Honestly, not that much to say about Echo. I've played her a decent amount before this, and I was already kind of decent at most of her combos. And when I wanted to relax, I just sat in the back line and just sent sticky bombs the direction of the enemy the whole game. Now, the original strat was going to be just sit back, send sticky bombs, and just copy a hero that tends to get played games a lot, like a Junkrat or a D.Va. Somehow that didn't end up being the case though, because when we loaded into Antarctic Peninsula, I honestly thought I wasn't going to get this played a game at first, because of the amount of times this somber was hacking me. Somehow though, I managed to copy the Reinhardt, charged in, pin the somber, and the rest is history. Oh yes! Okay, thank god. Thank god. Alright. <laughs> oh, and I got the somber as well. Let's go. Dude, thank god for that soldier popping ult. Yes! And that is Echo done. But don't worry, because this isn't the last time you're gonna see me playing Echo. Because honestly, I might come back to her if I decide to grind comp at some point. But that's for another day. For now, the next hero we're gonna be getting is... Baptiste here. I really do not like burst weapons. And unfortunately, Baptiste's main primary fire just so happens to be a burst rifle. So the first two streams were all just getting used to his primary fire but after i did get used to it i started queuing up with some maze anas zarias and even some sombras to increase my chances of getting to play the game as much as possible because to be honest I would not be able to get this play on my own. And somehow on my first game into my third stream, I got this. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Very intense play the game here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my- Yeah, very intense. I had to- <laughs> And that's Baptiste done. Honestly, way sooner than I expected as well. And when I posted Bat's play the game video to TikTok, we finally got a hero that I've been waiting a while for. And that hero just so happens to be... Ash here. Now, Ash was one of my mains before I started this challenge, and throughout my seven years of playing this game, has been a hero that I have always come back to, no matter who my main would be at the time. Because ever since I learned how to shoot her dynamite while it's mid-air, she has been one of the only hitscan heroes that I have been consistently not throwing on. Here's the thing though, 
I haven't played Ash in a while because of this challenge. So I was getting nervous seeing her becoming the most liked comment because I didn't know how rusty I had gotten with her. Thankfully though, all my doubts were gone after one game as I was just carrying every game I touched. But for almost five games in a row, we managed to get the same Sombra on the other team over and over again. So much to a point where I was finally starting to get used to playing against Sombras and not just any any Sombra but this Sombra especially and her playstyle. I got to a point where I could just start predicting exactly what she was about to do. That came in clutch when I saw a little translocator trail show up on my screen and all I had to do was throw my dynamite up onto this bridge and set it off, which eventually led to getting this play. Yeah, there we go! <laughs> Oh, it's what I- Oh, no way! A 2k. And unfortunately, that's Ash crossed off the list and done for now. But up next is another personal favorite. The Junker Queen! Ever since I started this challenge, Junker Queen has become my go-to tank. Whenever I get to play the game and have some free time, you know I'm going to play Junker Queen. Even though the tank experience at the moment is kind of shifty. But with Junker Queen, it doesn't matter if I'm losing or winning, her kit is always satisfying to use. And as long as I get a clean combo once a game, I'm honestly chilling and can play this game for as long as I want. Anyways though, I finally had an excuse to play Junker Queen for a whole stream. And to no one's surprise, this play of the game didn't take too long, as I only got this a couple games in. Yeah! Oof. I gotta stop barking whenever I get played against, dude. This, oh my god, that's embarrassing. What did I even do, bro? It was this? At 2k? I'll take it though. And that's Junker Queen done and dusted, even if I have already gotten her play the game more than 10 times before she was fully locked in. But it's time to move on now with the next hero, Sojourn en route. I haven't played Sojourn since the start of Overwatch 2, and even then I only played her a handful of times. So I was getting kind of nervous about what my performance with her was going to be like, especially with a live audience watching me the whole time. And my first game with her was not showing any good signs. So I started thinking to myself, all I needed was the same thing that I had with Widowmaker. In case you guys don't remember or haven't watched the first video, which I think you should watch, especially if you're stuck around the salon i sucked at widowmaker for four hours straight live <laughs> but all of a sudden out of nowhere i just popped off and got this insane play no way <laughs> oh my god oh that was insane i have no idea where that came from oh my god bang bang <laughs> I literally toggled, bro. <laughs> I actually toggled. <laughs> and I was thinking, that's all I need to happen with Sojin. So I started to strap myself in for the long run. But this random popping off came way sooner than expected. In my second game, actually. Because when I loaded into King's Row, I managed to pull off this 4K. Bad big hitbox. Anyways, GG's, let's play the game. Here's the thing though, for the rest of the game, I was super stressed out because there was a D.Va and a Junkrat on the other team. No! Okay, it's a 2K, it's a 2K. Both heroes, which are banned from anyone trying to help me get the play of the game on my team. Because somehow they're just heroes that you could get the play of the game by accident just by pressing Q. And when the end of the game came around, well, that 4K wasn't the play of the game. Because this was. Thank God. And Winston with the follow, thank you so much, bro. Wait. There wasn't even a 4k? I'll take it! I'll take it! I'll take it! 
And that is Sojin done and gone for now. And up next, we have... May checking in! Now, as annoying as playing against Maze can be, she still has a special place in my heart due to the amount of times I've gone play the games on very difficult heroes, notably Life Weaver, due to my team's May using her ultimate. So you'll think that getting her play at a game will be very easy due to me having control over her ultimate instead of having to set up the play with someone else. The thing is that my first game was not looking good and I just completely sucked. But yet again, another hero that we sucked at that we managed to get the play of the game the second game as I just threw in my ultimate and managed to pull this off. I gotta be honest. Oh, what? What? Huh? <laughs> oh, I did not ex What did I? Oh, okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Huge plays. That was uh, a lot earlier than I expected. And that's May crossed off the list. And she's not really my cup of tea though, so I'm glad she's done already. Anyways, our last hero for this video is going to be... Ramatra. Now I'm just gonna ignore the first day trying to get this play of the game, cause to be honest, almost nothing happened. But the second stream, however, was completely different. See, coming into the second stream, there's been a lot of these plays where I had just woken up and within my first game, I got the play of the game. And that's exactly what happened with Ramatra. Thing is, that wasn't the best play. Answer questions, you're like a living Google. What? Huh? Dude, I just woke up. It is, it's the first. I didn't even do any, what? And that was only one elimination and an assist. I was not going to be posting just that to TikTok and having it in this video as well. And since I had an entire stream ahead of me, I just went for another play with Romatro. But game after game after game, it was not looking good. With my last game of my stream coming up, I wasn't feeling very hopeful. Considering one of my teammates had switched to Junkrat and was pretty much at that point trying to take the play of the game, especially with this 4k. Luckily though, thanks to the soldier popping his ultimate and giving me an ultimate cancel, that was all I needed. It's on Spotify, but it's- Oh, what? <laughs> Wait, Junkrat got like a 4k, what? It was this? Oh, it was an old cancel. Oh my god! We actually got a decent play of the game last game as well! And that's pretty much it for now. We still have the last stretch ahead of us, and by the time I'm editing this video, this is the heroes we have done so far, so we still have some work to do. So if you want to catch me getting these play of the games live, come check me out at Twitch at twitch.tv slash https underscore loony. And if you can't catch me live, but you still want to see these play of the games before I do a YouTube video on them, I post these play of the games pretty quick onto TikTok once I've done them. So if you want to stay in the loop, go check out HTTPS underscore Looney on TikTok as well. And one last thing, thank you to everyone who has been helping me out with these player games so far. I couldn't have done it without y'all and yeah. Subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next one.